Hey guys, Akil Mohudin here, and today I want to talk a little bit about how all digital clocks work. Now this is going to include any old style digital alarm clocks that you probably haven't seen in a while, all the way to uh, the watches you can wear on your wrist to the smartphone that's probably in your pocket. Now learning about this is, is going to help us in building our own hexadecimal clock, um, but it's also just fun to learn about and it's interesting. Now before I get started, I want to remind you guys that we are on Twitter, so go ahead and follow us at amtech underscore circuits. Also, I'm working on making those beginner electronics kits for you guys. Um, seem like you guys were really excited about that. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out the video here. Um, also, go ahead; and it's, the link will be in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Okay, so how do digital clocks work? Well, all timekeeping works fundamentally the same way. And in a really abstract sense, all you need is an oscillation that oscillates at a known frequency. Now, it doesn't really matter what this frequency is, because let's just say, for example, that the signal is 1 hertz. That means that there's one oscillation per second. So if we count 60 oscillations, then we know that a minute should have passed. And if we count 60 of those one minute oscillations, then we know that an hour should have passed. And this is just how timekeeping works. Now this process can be implemented in a lot of different ways, but the most important part is having some sort of oscillating signal that is consistent and predictable, because the accuracy of your clock can only be as good as the accuracy of this signal. So let's start by looking at some of these older clocks, and then we'll be able to talk a little bit more about some more modern mobile devices. If you've got a clock that you plug into the wall and thus uses AC power, we can open it up and see this chip in the middle. Now most clocks use this IC, or an IC just like this, and this is the MM53108. Now this IC is a fully packaged digital alarm clock. If you supply the correct signal and connect the pins up correctly, this IC can do everything. It'll keep the time and it'll drive seven segment displays to show you the time. It even has an alarm function built in so you can connect up a speaker and make it into a digital alarm clock. Now this IC is designed in a really clever way so that this way the input oscillation signal that's used for timekeeping is supposed to be either a 60 hertz signal or a 50 hertz signal. And another way of saying this is just that there's 60 oscillations between off and on, uh, a second or 50 oscillations. Now this is good because that's the frequency that mains power works at. The power that's in your wall is already oscillating at 60 hertz a second if you're in the US. If you're in Europe, it's oscillating at 50 hertz a second. Now, this means you don't need any extra chips to create the input signal. You can just step down the voltage using a transformer and then that can become your oscillating signal that all your timekeeping is based off of. And in fact, if we go into the data sheet, we can see that that's exactly what the manufacturers of the chip recommend. Right here, they have power coming from the wall, going through a transformer, and then connecting to the input signal of the IC. So in the end, all this means is that the clock from this IC is getting both its power and its timekeeping ability from the wall. Looking at the block diagram, we can see the way it's doing the timekeeping more specifically. First, it's turning this 60 or 50 hertz signal into a 1 hertz signal using a chip like this, which is the SN56LS57. And this chip is designed to take a 60 or 50 hertz signal and divide it out so this way it outputs a 1 hertz signal. And this chip has already been integrated into this big IC, so we don't have to worry about it at all, but it's just nice to know. Now from there, it just counts 60 oscillations of this one hertz signal. So it knows when there's been 60 oscillations, a minute has passed, and then when 60 oscillations of the minute signal has passed, then it knows that it's been an hour. And it just does this constantly and updates the displays accordingly. Now, if you've got a mobile device, like a watch or your phone or even something like a satellite, it can't be connected up to the wall all the time, and thus there's no AC power and there's only DC power, which means that there's going to be no oscillation, so no 50 or 60 hertz signal for which you to base your timekeeping off of. So you've got to create this signal yourself. Now the way that's done is by using one of these little guys. This is a crystal oscillator, and they're amazing. They're used all over the place, including in satellites, planes, smartphones, pretty much anything you can think of that has to keep time is going to use one of these little guys. And this little component is how all timekeeping in the world works pretty much nowadays. Unless you're using one of these older style clocks, or you need a super highly accurate clock, like an atomic clock, which is going to be used in things like GPS. Now, how are they used? Well, these crystal oscillators are designed to oscillate at a very specific frequency when power is applied to them. The frequency for the ones I've got is 32,768 hertz. And in fact, most alarm clocks are, or most digital clocks are going to have this exact frequency of 32,768. And that's because that number is exactly 2 to the 15. 
So that means when we can take the signal coming from the crystal oscillator, we can divide it in half 15 times in a row, and we'll get left with a one hertz signal. Now, an IC that can do this dividing for us is this one. This is a frequency divider. Now, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to hook it up and everything in this video, because it's more technical than I wanna get into right now. But the point is, what you've gotta understand is that they're gonna take this signal from the crystal oscillator, divide it by two to the 15 using this IC, get the one hertz clock signal, and then you're just gonna use it exactly how you'd use it in those old style alarm clocks. You're gonna count 60 oscillations of this one hertz signal, and that'll tell you a minute has gone by, and you count 60 of those oscillations, it's gonna tell you that an hour has gone by. And then from there, it's just updating the seven segment displays accordingly for the time you're tracking. For our own clock that we're building from scratch, it isn't gonna be exactly like this because it's a hexadecimal clock, not a decimal clock, but the time keeping process is still gonna be pretty much the same. And we can use a crystal oscillator just like they do in planes and in your smartphone. And this is gonna help us keep the time more accurately as well as gonna use way less power. Now, if you wanna see how we do that, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications because that video is gonna be coming out soon. Um, Besides that, we've also got updates on Twitter, so make sure you follow at amtech underscore circuits to get all of those. Um, but besides that, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say in this video. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like it if you did, and I will catch you guys in the next one.